yeah, we'll have a work up. We'll work on that, JP. Sorry, Andy, evening, sorry. boys uh, and girls. Um, welcome to uh, my channel, AH Bespoke Live Carving. Tonight is of a playing mantas. Um, so, quick thank you to uh, the guys, my earwormage. Uh, we have Wayne the Woodturner, wrong way. Wayne the Woodturner. We have JP, and we have the beard. 16 there so links i will remember to put them in the description and all that business um to their channels so thanks guys i'm gonna put you to uh backstage if that's cool. oh hang on wait i'll turn that off cool right okay so first things first i need to put get my pp 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 p e <clears throat> Proof for my sponsors that I am doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you but wanna... you've, got a, you've got a safety beard, Andy. Oh, yeah, but... Um... Sometimes a safety beard just isn't enough. Yeah, yeah health but... safety. Yeah, yeah. I'm only carving acrylic tonight, so it's not... Um polyester dust if i was polyester dust obviously i would be uh full-on um what's it mask face um, yeah. but there's no need for this one so i'll put you down to the cam um we'll see how it's going when i first start cutting and i'll either mute myself or um not Grand. i'll start yeah. reading out reading out the chat yes please okay. we've got jeff in uh, obviously, the beard's here, and I'm here. Uh, Dale's in the house. Hello, Dale. Hello, Dale. Uh, where am I? Barry's in. Hello, Barry. <clears throat> Barry. Jeff. 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 David McLernan. Good evening, David. Fingers. Fingers. Joy. <laughs> Good afternoon, Joy. Herb. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Joy. Afternoon, Herb. Afternoon, Herb. Um, what shall I start with? That Dale said this might best mess with your ability to read this bit out. Ha, 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 ha. Right. Oh, oh. Stop sitting on my foot. Steve Coombs in as well, and Wood Ninja. Oh. Hey, Ninja. Hey, Dan. Hey, hey, Steve, and hi, Robert. I think I've just seen Robert pop in as well. Yep, he did. I've just, I've, I've just missed half the chat because of bloody pop up coming up. Is that too loud, guys, or...? No, that's fine, Andy. Well, it's good to me. Let, let us know in the chat if that's... Uh... It seems all right for me at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> that so this... sound in the background was Richard yawning, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm. I um, actually, Andy, if you can, if you can mute it, that would be. No worries. Cheers. About a thing, because every little thing. Yeah, I woke up with a headache, so I went back to bed, and I didn't get up until uh, lunchtime. <laughs> Blimey! Yeah. Because I wish. Sometimes, when you know, if you've got a headache, you just best just go instead of loading yourself with drugs, just go back and get some sleep, and then you're all right. And Val. Oh, indigestion. Oh. Somebody what got that? something switched on in the background. 
Um, Cheryl's upstairs mm -hmm. with her TV on. Um, let me shut the door because you might be able to hear her TV. Come on, okay. Anyway, I could put my lab on if you want. Come on. No, that's fine, JP. You're okay. <laughs> JP, when you sent me that video this morning, I was walking around Tesco's doing the shop, and all of a sudden I burst out laughing, and the tears were streaming, yeah. and and people yeah, were turning around and looking. Open stuff in public. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick the Flaming Turner says, "How do Andy, Wayne, JP, Rich, Dale, Jeff, Mike, Rob, Steve, C, Finger, CEO?" Joy and Mama Joy, Wayne, Val, Emmett, Herb, Baz. He thinks he's got everybody. No, he also, also said hello to Stacey. No, he... Stacey, uh, she's watching from his screen. Yeah. He, 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 he missed somebody. I'm going to let him go back and find out who it was. <laughs> uh, I was going to say Mr. Wayne, but he didn't. Yeah, there's two Waynes there. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just kidding when I said that, though. So what are you two guys working on now? What am I working on? Well, I've got a blank mounted to the lathe, ready to do a uh, that GPS live, and I've hated you guys ever since because now I just want to turn it. <laughs> you can't. You're going to have to resist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to end up doing something else. So I'm going to start on my next GPS project, I think, for which is going to be a video. Should we fill people in on what we're going to, what we're planning on doing? I know. Yeah, uh, yeah can do if you want. I know um, Dale and Andy will be cool with it. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a GPS build on Andy's channel. So it's going to be a live. Uh, it won't be on his normal Monday night slot. It'll be, I think, did we say Friday daytime or is it Sunday daytime, JP? Oh, I can't remember. <clears throat> so we, we've challenged ourselves to do a build only using GPS stuff. So it can be the acrylic, it can, get, it can be the polyester, it can be flat, it can yeah. be round, it can be square, whatever it is. The, as long, yeah. You know. the, the date is still determined yet. Uh, you're breaking up, JP. Am I? You was for a second there. You, you were, were for a, you were for a minute there. Might be the uh, might be my connection. My nephew's on his uh, computer and he's it takes up a lot of the oh. bandwidth. It seems all right now. Not to mention I'm in the work. Not to mention I'm in the workshop as well. So, uh, what was you going to yeah. say? I said I think the, the the time and the date is yet to be determined. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We can't decide on whether it's a weekday or weekend yet. Yeah. Go wait for Dale to feel a little bit better as well. So hopefully, yeah, be, yeah. yeah this week. So what I'm saying is, it's yeah. uh, it, it, as long as it's GPS stuff. So it could be flat, round, uh, polyester, acrylic, you know, kerenite, whatever. As long Karenite. as it's GPS stuff. Yeah. So you could turn it, carve it, chew it up in your mouth if you like. As long as it's GPS stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I've already decided what I'm doing. I've already decided what I'm doing. I've already got the the block glue to the lathe. <laughs> but I've got I've also got well, something just so you know I'm gonna totally like... kick all of your butts, just so <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And, and then you're gonna and, and then you're gonna wake up Andy. Yeah, yeah. Oh you haven't seen what I've got planned. Well it would be like the um you know the sponsors uh, thing it's like uh you did Alison did say I was the better looking one. No, she said that we was all equal. Yeah, the, 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 once you're getting the dog. In which lifetime was yeah. that? <laughs> I'm more cuddly. Yeah, okay, fair she enough. Def she yeah. definitely needs yeah. a dog. 
<laughs> oh, anyway, right. Sorry, guys. I don't. I don't think Chris is. I don't think Chris is selling Bamber at the moment. By the way. <laughs> well, at the moment, I'm doing a Blue Peter job. Blue Peter. Blue Peter. Yeah. Job. Yeah. This one I'm, I made earlier. Yeah, I'm preparing for Wednesday night because I'm doing the water drop pool on Wednesday night. Did you get rid of the other one? You need to take another one. You may need to make another one so you can take a picture for more stickers, didn't you? Well, no, it's not that. It's just that I, ca I can't do a water drop ball in two hours because obviously the water needs to evaporate. <laughs> so I've got to, I've got yeah. to make one that I can finish off before I show people how to do it on Wednesday night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, have you read that comment there from Baz? Missed that one. Uh, so after the other night, now guys, the other night, anyone that wasn't there, we had oh, yeah. a um, a bit of a hangout, oh, yeah. didn't we? Saturday was it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday yeah. we had on Saturday night we had a Maker Central, a uh, Hilton Bar hangout. Yeah, and they were making me do stuff against my will. So that's oh why, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be right. Actually, Wayne, after uh, after Andy's done this, I mean, I've got a bit of wood I need to show you. I hope that's not right. Rich's bit of wood. <laughs> no. So how how long did it go on after I left? Uh, I left before you did not think. Yeah, quite quite a while, I think. Yeah, it went on for quite a while. God, I was so drunk. Yeah, we know. John N. We, and could, all, Mr. we, we, could, all, we could almost understand you. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, by about eleven o'clock, I start I start talking drunkenies. Yeah. JP, what accent do I have? Kentish. French. No, it's French. French. <laughs> French. Just you know, I actually found out. Now. Let's see if I can get to that website while I'm on here and without it killing the laptop. Because it's it's working too hard or anything. Uh, I uploaded, I've done my uh ancestry thing and uploaded it they uh, downloaded the raw dna and upload uploaded it to another website uh where is it uh i think one cat was asking about gps uh i can't actually remember what the g uh, general plastic summer or other wasn't it jp can you remember i can't remember mate to be honest with you. <clears throat> hmm. Go to the website, Eva. Have a look. See if it tells you in there. GPS agencies. So, um, yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I uploaded it to a, a different website. And uh, my, uh, my closest ancient populations are Viking Norwegians and the Franks. Well, that, that would be right. Yeah, the, that's probably right, considering where you live. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean... Um, and Saxons, Viscoffs, and Celts. To tell you the truth, GP, <laughs> that's probably exactly the same as what it would say about me as well, coming from the northeast of England. No, yours ain't got drunks on here. So, so that's saying that you are related to... Uh, and Vikings that went over to invade uh, France. So yeah, and Spain. Every, everybody's related to Vikings if they're in the UK. Yeah, but the the French and the the Viking parts that match up, don't they? Because of obviously when they went over, and they settled yeah. France to yeah, that, uh, that's, that's, the that's where the Normans came from. Yeah, 
Northmen, yeah. That's where, yeah, that's where Normandy came from in France because of the Vikings. Yeah, I mean, they they were there to protect the uh, the river and stop other people, other Vikings, from uh, travelling up to attack um, France, wasn't it? And apparently I've got uh, the same DNA as Che Guevara, uh, che Guevara Charles Darwin, uh, Woodrow Wilson, William McKinley, and Ulysses Grant. You do a test, and, did you, JP? And John Quincy Adams as well. John Quincy Adams, was he another American president? He, I know he's American, I'm not sure exactly what he did. John Adams, John Adams, uh, American, oh, I, maybe. Yeah, yeah. There was something else on here that, uh, no, it's not that one. Viking Age England, there we go. So it tells you that they, uh, what is it? The, the Vikings and Bryce massacre Oxford. They found someone, and I match with someone that they found uh, in an altercation from there. Uh, Roman, I was uh, Roman gladiators from York. But yeah quite a few they're starting the, to take shape now andy Her, herb's just herb's just saying in answer to my question about john adams he was a president i thought he was can't remember which yeah. number he was but i thought he was uh apparently unrelated to the cheddar man from somerset in england all right and the, and the bronze age golden boy of amesbury well it seems you related to i nearly swore there Related to every bugger GP. It seems like it. I've got a big family. I'm going to have that as well. <laughs> as well. <laughs> I'm going to send a message out to all my family. Do you know JP? <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's, re he's, re he's related to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wayne's just said JP is definitely a mongrel. <laughs> yeah, without doubt. I don't without know if that's, meant in the good, if that's meant in a good way or a bad way. Yeah, without doubt. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to type in your name, Wayne. How much raw room does a tiny little pussy cat like you want? Huh? But it's cat kicking me off the teddy. <clears throat> Yes, John. John N saying this can't be good. JP silent. <laughs> and he's <laughs> and he's looking down as well, John. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've picked. I think you've picked the perfect colour for that, uh, Mantis. Eva saying, "Why do you keep saying he's French?" Eva, because we're taking the piss. That's why. Because I am. He's closer to France than he is to London. Because I, I can easily change my accent to hello there. Baguette. Would you like some of my baguette, Eva?
Oh, what you see in the Isle of Wight? Uh, no, either. Kent. Kent. Near Dover. I went into a French restaurant once and asked if they'd done frog's legs, and they said, "Yeah, of course we do." I said, "Well, go and get me some che uh, cheese sandwich." In. Yeah, yeah. Hop off and get me a cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, Kent near Paris. Barry says. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's it. That's it, Barry. Right, so if you look at the UK map, Eva, it's a right, very, very point on the bottom right hand corner. That's where I live. Oh, Glenn's in the house. Good evening, Glenn. Hello, Glenn. I'm surprised you can, I'm surprised you can type at this time of night. Glenn, I've got a, I'm going to send you a message. All right, it's a good t shirt idea. <laughs> no, not Plymouth. You're looking at the wrong side of the country, Eva. Look at the other side of the country towards France. The right side. The opposite of left. The opposite of well, up. Glynn spun it again. Yeah, any time, Barry. All you got to do is get the ferry over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get get the ferry to Margate. He'll be close anyway. Yeah, like Glenn <laughs> said, you, you're up, you're up a left. Yeah, you're the left either. I'm first in line for the throne if I really need to go. <laughs> Unless somebody gets there first. Well, we've got more. Oh, I've got an en suite in my workshop. Was that the garden? No, indoors. <laughs> it's got a pressure pot in it at the moment. Oh, that should be fun. <coughs> I had to move everything out of the way so I could uh, do a live stream that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the uh, Mr. Ruby, your workshop is in the outhouse, JP. Yes, it is. Barry seeing an empty two litre bottle GP. I'm not going to push the uh, push anything through that little hole. <coughs> pew, pew, pew. Barry saying funnel. Yeah, that could be a, a whole new meaning to the funnel club, Barry. Yeah, I was just thinking the exact same thing.
Um, either no, I don't think that was um, our Glenn. That was a different Glenn. I think he's been a uh, friend in a lot of people at the moment. Uh, because I've had a couple of messages from people asking, uh, this is to Eva again, I've had a couple of messages from people asking if the, the Glyn who has been asking to friend them is Glyn Senior, and it wasn't. It was a different Glyn. Yeah, I had a request today off of that person. I was like, oh, God, he's had that much drink, he's forgotten his own name. He does do woodwork, though, so... He does. I was, I wouldn't have accepted him. Yep, see him here. I just got out my new uh, carving chisel set, and I'm thinking I might do some whittling. Oh, nice. Hmm. I'm on, I, I, it's uh, lucky I've got that pro edge. Hang on. I can actually sharpen them now. Oh. American stank out, shoot, kill them, we grill them. Gabby, there's a canoeing club. Hang on. Just answer the phone and pretend you can't hear them. That's always a laugh. Sorry about that, guys. Got a phone call. Uh, my vet, who I know quite well, uh, who also goes out shooting quite a lot, is just about to uh, pop around my house and drop me off a venison carcass, which I'm getting for nothing. Yes. Nice. Looks, nice. Looks, like, looks like I might be doing some butchering in the next couple of days. <laughs> It's not bad. Venison's usually quite dear. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, JP. Ha, ha, ha. So I'll probably go mute for a, a wee while in about 10 minutes um, and go and, go and get that and then hang it in the in the shop. Good evening, Jen. Jen Woods working and things is in the house. Hi, uh, Jen.
Larry wants to know is she a dear friend? <laughs> he is a very dear friend. No, Alan, who uh, who is the vet? He um, he's in a group of people that uh, they go out and cull the wild deer uh, before the herd gets too big. Um, so I usually get uh, a phone call a couple of few times a year to see if I want a, a whole carcass. Uh, he did see it tonight. Would you like this one for free? <laughs> oh no. No, Alan, I've got the pay for it, honestly. <laughs> so you got to butcher it all yourself, and oh yes, yeah. I'll be, I'll be, I'll, I've got to skin it and butcher it myself. Right. Yes, we in Bambi burgers for tea. A bit of work to butcher either no no not really it, it doesn't take that long uh, i find the the skinning is the the longest part of the buttering process does it have antlers Miss, mr rubens asking does it have, have antlers i have got no idea mr ruben because when um, when the deer is shot, you have got to remove the head and the feet before it can be further processed. Uh, no, Eva, I don't bother doing anything with the skin. I don't bother. Um, I'm, I'm not into that type of thing, so... Um, the skin doesn't get processed. And I am not going to do a live on how to butcher it either. I bet you do a live on how to eat it. No, oh, I can do that. <laughs> you have to watch your fingers, uh, Wayne, when you're eating that stuff. I've got to say, venison is very, very nice in a curry. And Glyn will tell you that because he, he's had one of my venison curries. Curried venison? Yeah. Is that how you got rehired once? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> when I got rehired, yeah. He, he ripped the P45 up. There is actually um, a guy that I used uh, to hang on, uh, Larry, Larry's asking, I think, a bit of a serious question here. Do you guys have the chronic wasting disease over here? Larry, I have got absolutely no idea at all. Um, I just don't know about that. I've never heard of it. No. No. Oh, has Dale gone to bed? Oh, yeah, he is. Deal, deal's off, yeah. guys. Good night, Dale. Sit down, mate. Get well soon. Right, guys, I'm just going to mute myself and I'm going to pop outside just to see, just to wait for him arriving because obviously he's just going to drop it off, social distancing and all that. Oh, mate. My brand is ready from um, Nathan. My new brand. Nice. As in, as in Nathan. Uh, Ramsdale Sherman. All right. I sent him um, that brass. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, he's actually done my new logo of my my head. Um, he's CNC'd it and he's put it on a um, 
you know, a handle and everything. Nice. I have to get a bit of brass and see if I can. Uh, do I need both grits? Uh, yes, mate. Yeah, please, if you could. Uh, yeah, I need to get a smaller. Um, what do you call it? Uh, a brand. Cause I've only got a massive one. I want one for the bottom of my bowls. Have a have a word with him. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing them at a uh, a really good price as well. Nice. Ian in the shed. I didn't see him coming. I didn't. How you doing, Ian? <clears throat> uh Joyce says, Andy, are you gonna try and carve some legs or just drill some holes and use wire? I think he's gonna use wire from what he was telling us earlier. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Glyn says, so Andy, how many times have you had carbide burr rash, LOL? Why did I Welcome back, Rich. Uh, hi Thomas. <clears throat> hi Thomas. Um, just trying to get this all to one sort of level rather than having loads of bumps all over it. Although this bit, um, other bits attached to it. Uh, Jen says, "Is that a uh, is that a blown out tattoo with a birthmark or a super wicked bruise?" What's that? What that? I guess so. No, it's a tattoo. That is. It's a long story, Jen, and not a particularly great story. It goes back to my first wife. So we'll leave it there, shall we? Uh, Mr. Ruben, haven't microwaved any wood yet. I know spoon carvers, uh, that bakes his pieces. Uh quite hard tattooing yourself on your knuckles yeah i've got some out it's hard tattooing anybody's knuckles let alone your own <clears throat> this part, yeah, that is true. it's really hard to get the ink to sink in to, you know. oh she said she said right hand there's a big mark oh what that yeah oh no that's from the because i've oiled it earlier um where you join these two to oil it's where all the gunk is coming out of it, so it, it's fine. That's what's supposed to happen. Obviously, you should be wearing gloves, but um, yeah, it's just the just the oil residue coming out of the uh, machine as it heats up.
She said, uh, so the oil and dust makes sense. Good. Glad it's not a bruise. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. She didn't hit me that hard. Uh, Robert Laps said, would having a vacuum box uh, on things make things a little bit less dusty? It would. However, I'm out in my workshop, which is very close to my neighbor's house. So while I am um, out at this kind of time in the evening, having my uh, extraction unit on isn't particularly uh, neighbor friendly. Um, it's quite loud. It's a proper beast of a machine. Um, so I'm just kind of looking out for the neighbours, basically. <laughs> yeah, if if I weren't so close to the neighbours, I'd probably be at the lave or scrosser on right now as well. My neighbours, not neighbours. <laughs> My neighbours uh, don't care. <laughs> You're lucky, mate. Yeah. If I let my neighbours know that's what I was doing and for what reason, they, I'm sure they'd be fine, but I, that would mean... Um, obviously, breaking lockdown rules. Unless he's out in his garden next time, I'll ask him, I suppose. Ooh. All right. What's going on in the chat? Uh, has anyone done something similar to Rag and Bone Brown and built a separate soundproof shed for their compressor and dust extractor? Now, I know um, uh, Dale, Dale's uh, dust extractor and that and his compressor are in a soundproof uh, box, I believe, in his workshop. You have to go and uh, check his invasion because I think we, we did a little bit of that in the invasion. Uh, Jen says, I think that would help a lot. Robbers. When I'm doing videos, I do have my dust extraction on, obviously. Like, well, yeah. an yeah. actual video, if you see what I'm saying. But, like, I can't, at this time of night, I can't be, uh, Working it on, you know. And I've got a tin roof on my garage. So Jen says her brother used to draw a mantis cartoon for me all the time when we were kids. <laughs> cool. They're quite interesting creatures, I think. I mean, this this is technically a lady. The man's all fancy and all this. Mm. Um. It's looking good, though, Andy. And I think you've picked the perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. GPS uh, product for it. Yeah, this has got a nice shine to it. And it's uh, green and it's got the uh, yellow as well. Yeah. Memory serves. It's called Green Bay. Ah. Um, for those interested. Well, you've got 20 watching and you've got 19 up thumbs. Thumbs up. Nice. Which is great. Share this out, guys. Let's get some more in for Andy. Oh, you got 21 watching there. I have no idea what uh, I'm doing tomorrow. 
Mm. What Robert Lapsey said, I tried doing a seahorse and came out shed looking like I've been in a snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> Practice makes perfect, mate. Practice makes perfect. Uh, Jen says, I also made a hair clip from uh, a huge rubber. Hang on, I've just lost the chat. From a huge rubber mantis. I wore it a lot in my high school colleges. Uh, it was a smidge, uh, I was a smidge strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doug's in. Doug's in. Doug's in. He says, What's a good word? The good word is Doug has finally got his plaque. His play button, yeah. Yes, well done, Doug. We're going to give you a plaque. There you go. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Right. Now for the complicated bits. Right. I'll you mean that wasn't the complicated bits. bits? No, that's the easy bits. <laughs> the bits of the legs because that's on a um praying mantis the legs fold up inside their body so it actually goes like the legs are actually up, linked up on this bit up here right up which is quite uh awkward to get to there's obviously four of them two on either side in front they come out and then they sort of fold in on the closest part of the inside of the body when they're trying when they're just sort of stood when they're jumping obviously it's different but when they're just stood like that they um yeah it's very weird so this is going to be fun um right i'm going to put you back on mute because there might be a few choice words <laughs> Wayne the Bigfoot says the millipede, millipede you did, Andy, looked fantastic. Thanks, Realistic, man. fantastic job, he says. So, um, yeah, where are we? What's I looking at? Yeah, so Eva, we were congratulating Doug because he's, uh, like Jen says, he's just hit his uh, 100, well, he's hit his 100,000 subscriber mark. So he's got his uh, his first, was it a silver plaque that you get first? Yeah, think. silver, yeah. Yeah. So that's why we're all congratulating him. <clears throat> see that that um cutter that andy's just held up to the screen um i've got one of those but the actual cutting bit is about four times the length of that one he's got and it's savage if you're not careful it will just run away from you and chew everything up really yeah. good for removing a lot of material very quickly but it you know yeah, yeah. They're, they're, uh, they're... Go on. I was just saying, Joy says she's falling asleep, so she's off. So. Okay. Good night, Joy. <laughs> Mr. Ruben, only 100,000 for the first button. I'm almost there at 100 plus. <laughs> You can always make your own and do a video on it. Yeah. I think you, there is actually, I think, uh, let, me, let me go and have a, see if I can find out. There is actually a, a, a tier for 100 subscribers. So I think it's cardboard or something like that, or maybe wood. What, uh, that you make yourself? You, yeah, you, you're always allowed to make your own, but you, you there's it, it was a while ago, but... Um, there was all the tier that you could that you know, like you got anniversaries, the first yeah. anniversary is something. Well, it's exactly the same for YouTube play buttons. 
<laughs> oh yeah, so the gold, silver, and all that, you know, and yeah. It's uh, you get your custom URL, Ian. Once you yeah, hit a hundred, yeah, custom URL. So Stace made her own play button uh, and made one for Wayne too. Uh, who else? Jen's made a uh, hundred sub button play button as well. Uh, Hello guys, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. So Larry's got six vids and twenty four subs. Uh, what's that worth? <laughs> So Jen's sneaking up to a thousand. Uh, right. Sneaking up so, on a thousand. Um, it, graphite is for channels that reach or surpass a hundred <clears throat> subscribers. Opal is for channels that reach or surpass a thousand subscribers, and bronze is for channels that reach or surpass ten thousand. Mm. All right. Okay. What we're talking about? Sorry, I missed a lot of stuff. It's all right. With Doug's come into the chat, and we just uh, congratulated him. I mean, hitting his. Oh yes, I, I yeah. did that. Did that on his yeah. uh, when he put it up on uh, Facebook earlier on the day. Yeah, good but one, Doug. Were, good one. People were asking questions on whether or not you um, you get them for lesser, you know, subscriber uh, milestones. All right. Okay. So Ian in the shed says he has three subscribers and no videos at all. Well, better than what I was. Work, you need to work on that then, Ian. Yeah, Wayne was just getting some uh, venison. Yeah, I have received my venison <laughs> carcass. It was uh, it's just been freshly shot this evening, tell you the truth. Uh, Alan's just dropped it off for me, so uh, I've just placed it in the in the shop at the moment. That will get hung tomorrow. Seems I was freshly shot. Uh, the weather's quite warm at the moment, so I'll probably only leave it about three or four days uh, before I, I butcher it. it. It's got to hang for a wee while before it gets butchered. It's still fairly cool in the workshop, so it should be okay. Three or four days, I'll get it skinned. I'll get it butchered. Uh, and then put it into the freezer. After putting it in between centres. Yeah, after putting it in between centres. Yeah, you, you've you, you've got to you've got to turn the, the perfect circle for a burger anyway. Yeah. So you don't, you, skin it. It. you don't get the head then, uh, Wayne. No, the head. He actually brought the. He, he he did actually bring the antlers along with him to see if I had any use for them, which, I, to tell you the truth, I don't. And they were fairly small anyway, so I couldn't have done a hell of a lot with them. So, no, can I have them? Well, no, I don't even think they were that big, to tell you the truth, Jamie. Um, usually when venison is shot, certainly in Scotland, the head has to be removed and the feet have to be removed before the carcass can be removed from where it was shot. Ah, gotcha. So why is that then? Do you know? I do. I, I've got absolutely no idea, Rich. To tell you the truth, no idea whatsoever. And oh. I've never asked Alan about it, so uh, I must remember to do that the next time. Hmm. Ruben, seen you can make great pens out of the antlers. Yes, I know you can, Ruben. But these were—I had a look at them, and they were fairly small. So um, I, I didn't bother. Was Annie just pointing at something then? I'm not sure. I don't know if he was just shaking the dust off or if he was pointing at something. Hmm. 
Mm, he's not doing it again. I'm, uh, I'm just looking for uh, Ian in the Sheds uh, link. Um, so I'm putting it in the chat. I'm sure I'm subscribed to him. Hmm. I thought I was. Because it doesn't, it doesn't allow you anymore to get, to hit the three. Buttons. No, that that's, that's a, the bloody nonsense. YouTube's been totally stupid just now. Mm -hmm. Right, so he's got a right. That's that one. Okay, Ian in the shit. He doesn't have any videos out. Uh, Ian, I've, I've got this. Ian's a fairly new wood turner. Uh, he's over in the northeast of England. Um, he is planning at some point once all the the lockdown and everything's finished. He is planning to come across to me uh, to get some tuition, which is much appreciated, Ian. Um, seeing as how he's from the north northeast of England, I know fine well he's a good guy anyway. So <laughs> everybody is. Him. Everybody is. Yeah, I can't find him on uh, on YouTube actually. No, I'll come on. Yeah. Let's try deleting the uh, spaces. To tell you the truth, I probably eat. Uh, I, I think, and I think this is what a lot of people do. They'll come onto YouTube, and if they want to subscribe to people. I think they've got to have a channel to do that. So I think I'll, Ian has basically put himself a channel in there <coughs> so he can subscribe to other people. Yeah, if anyone is subscribed to Ian, um, send us the link on Facebook in my messages and I'll, um, I'll chuck it up in the chat. I'll have a look. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? It's, it's it's taken the option away, which was was great because I yeah, it, it was a very good option. Yeah. I think that is because of these um, sub for sub um, channels. Maybe could be. Maybe they've made it harder. I don't know. Oh. <sighs> So you got 22 people watching and 24 thumbs up, Andy, which is good. <sighs> Do we have any questions for Andy while he's doing this that he can answer? Any questions at all? No, I've had a look and I'm not getting anything for Ian in the shed either. Hmm. But not to worry. I'm sure once he starts st sticking some content out there, we'll be able to find him. So Mr. Rubin's got a question for you, Andy. Uh, the noise of that Dremel... Um, how loud is it compared to the 3,000? I think that was a little bit. Right. Minimal. Um, the 3,000 is... Because uh, it's close to your hand, I guess. It's closer to your ear. The falter flex, although it's kind of hanging by my ear, tends to be facing the other way. Mm. So it's kind of like the sounds deflected away. It's weird, but cool. 
it doesn't seem seem to be as loud so wayne bigfoot uh andy are you definitely going to do a jungle nymph uh yes but i'll probably have to get some more of this first the green yeah yeah this is come I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with this this is come carving quite nicely and looking quite nice actually yes yeah, so it Rudy is definitely uh, or any corded regular dremel that is yeah, the, the thing is with the, with with the one that Andy's got with with the forty flex that Andy's got, it's not actually it's not a regular type of Dremel that is powering uh, the bits. It, it's a totally it, it's a, a standalone motor that you hang up that has got a foot control for the for the speed. Thank you, Andy. So we've got another question for you, Andy. Um, Larry says, Andy, we all watch you. So who do you watch on YouTube? Um, I watch Richard. I watch Wayne. I watch <laughs> JP. Um, uh, all sorts of people. Um, SK Crafts. Um Ruben, um, I caught the other day actually. Um, Doug, it depends who pops up in my feed when I'm I happen to switch YouTube on, to be fair. Cool, and I'm not wanting to go back and unless it's some something somebody says, Andy, can you go back and watch? <coughs> I'm not one to go back and keep watching everybody's videos i haven't got the time to i'm not i'm like please guys don't take offense to that but you know um i've got my own videos that i need to put out so there's not um as much time in the day um to see everybody's videos that i'd like to you know well that's the thing people don't really understand uh, well, so they don't understand they don't realize that um if you're regularly making youtube videos it takes time not only to make what you're making it yeah. takes time in the workshop <laughs> there's also the editing, editing side of things as well um you know you do miss a lot of watching youtube i mean i watch youtube when i go to bed and you know i catch up on everything when i go to bed but, yeah uh, you, you know, you can't possibly watch everybody's. No, goodness me, no. no, no. Like, um, I tried to watch. Um, there's a whole host of people that I try to watch in a week. Although having um, a baby, um, kind of not gets in the way because he. Well, yeah, no, he gets in the way. Um. But not in a bad way, obviously. I've got to think of my son, spending time with my son. So, obviously, making's great, but I, I have the family focus on as well. Uh, as we all do. Yeah. See, I have my, my um, you know, my regulars like, um, like you guys and doug um that i i'll make sure i watch you know but uh yeah. <clears throat> like the guy i'd like to think that the guys would know the ones that i watch their stuff um, well, yeah because you comment don't you <laughs> Not on all of it, not on YouTube so much, um, which I probably should do actually. Um, well, not always, I have been better recently, partly because usually when I'm watching stuff, I'm not just watching stuff, I'm probably carving as well. Yeah. Um, like nine times out of ten, I'm carving, so... See, I tried that. I tried putting the uh, YouTube on the screen in the workshop, 
and I just couldn't do it. I had to turn it off because it was so off-putting. No, I don't, I don't get that. I I couldn't do it. I have the. I like to have the distraction. If I don't have YouTube on, I'll have so, as I've always said, NCIS or something like that. Just noise in the background more than anything. Um, depending on what somebody's doing, if someone's doing something like uh, amazing and that, obviously I'll stop. says that's why i say hello to everyone in the background so i try and recognize everyone watching um and she she's been binge watching family guy yeah. uh dang no says uh that's a quiet rotary tool my one screams oh god yeah that's screaming <laughs> uh <laughs> so, Mr. Ruben, I tried watching Stace in the shop, but she kept her hurting her fingers, so I stopped my work to see if she was okay. Never get anything done like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't that wasn't the Dremel screaming in Stace's workshop. That was uh, Stacy. <laughs> any quest? Any more questions for Andy? Or, or for anyone. You don't ask me questions, you probably won't like the answers. <laughs> right, Andy, <laughs> were, yes. uh, were you taught to carve, or is it just something... Right, were you taught to carve, or was it something you just picked up? Um... I've never been taught professionally how to carve. I, I, when I was learning art throughout my schooling, um, I was more of a, you give me a piece of clay, I'll make you what you want me to. You want me to make you an apple? I'll make you an apple. Bang. There you go. There's an apple. You want me to make you this, that, and the other? No worries. There you go. I can replicate stuff relatively well. Um, but when it comes to <clears throat> like creative in terms of like if I wanted him to do a dance or something or make him move, getting the moving parts, carving the moving parts and stuff, that's possible. It's well and truly possible. But I wouldn't know where to start on that sort of stuff. You give me the picture, I'll copy it. No worries. I'd make a very good forger. Just saying. <laughs> um. But yeah, I'm not that. I'm not that kind of an artist. There's some people that are like fantan fantastic illustrators. That's not. I'm. I can't illustrate. I'm not. Mm. I'm not that kind of an artist. Does that make sense? Does that answer yeah. the question? So, um, so I, don't know, I, I don't know if you saw, in. but... Yeah, that oh, is the right thank link. Thank you. Wayne. That's just what I was going to say, Rich. I've been over and I've subbed to Ian. I don't usually sub to channels with no content, but 
uh, hopefully he will chuck some content up there soon. And like like I said earlier on, the, the guy is a, he's a he's a beginner turner, so uh, he's just getting into it and looking for information and stuff and how to do different things. So uh, we will wait and see if if he puts stuff out. Uh, sounds like a good guy anyway. Yeah, as, soon as, just... put, as, soon, as soon as he drops his first video, I'll give him a shout out on the podcast. Yeah, cool, wonderful, Jamie. Yeah, I'll give him one as well. Um, oh yeah, let, let me know. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get the plaster scene out. Don't worry about that. Anyway, no, um... you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so there you go. In, I've been over. And I've subbed to you, mate. Get yourself a video up as soon as you can, and we'll uh, we'll we'll give you a hand. <laughs> Oh, Wayne I'm said, um, right, Wayne, Wayne Bigfoot Woodcrafter said, I have just had a, a friend request from that other Glenn. Um, and I'll try to keep my Facebook more personal than Instagram. Now, I had a friend request from that other Glenn before. This is a, a guy called Glenn Tompkinson. Uh, it seems he's from down in, I think, Cornwall, but originally comes from Stourbridge. Because I've just had a look at his profile. Um, he's got loads of people in there as friends who are in the the wood community, if you like. He has got no content on his Facebook page, anything to do with wood, more to do with political type stuff. Um, so I think I may well be unfriending him at some point. This that's evening. the one. That's the one I added today. I've got eighty odd friends in common with him. Yes, uh, that uh, same same one, Jamie. I had a message from uh, Tracy Keaton in America about him earlier on. I've just had a message from uh, Fingers McLernan uh, about him as well. Um, I only friended him because of the amount of friends he's got in the in the wood uh, wood working true. community, yeah. if you like. That's what I usually do. But he's got no content on his Facebook page about anything to do with wood, from what I can well, see. From, there's a picture of a woodworker, and that's it. Yeah. So I think he's going to get unfriended. Uh, I will leave uh, what you want to do about <coughs> it up to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to unfriend him now. So good turn daily. Uh, he's just said he's put that's a... Blair, a I think. You just dropped a video up this morning. I've just gone over and checked you out, um, and uh, and hit the uh, the button. I'll have a look at your videos when I when I can get to it. <clears throat> All right, bear with me. I'm going across to Facebook again. Mister Coombs, I've just uh, subscribed to you as well. Wait, you've subscribed to Steve Coombs? Yeah. Oh, God. There's a mistake. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. That was a joke. If there's anyone on here that I'm not subscribed to and you think I should be, just uh, let me know and I'll come and check your channel out. We'll have a look. I was already uh, subscribed to uh, Good Turn Daily or Good Turn Daily. Oh, and they've got less than 100, so maybe we can change that on Sunday. Hmm. I think I'm mm. probably totally wrong here. I'm probably totally wrong here, but I think his name is Blair. I've just put my link to my Facebook in the chat. That doesn't log you onto my Facebook, does it? Well, I'll be it's a... Yeah, your personal Facebook, yeah. Yeah, but you can't... It... Yeah, Larry. Um, Larry's no, just not... in there. Uh, there, yeah, is a okay. gl there is a Glenn Senior on Facebook with a pic of a guy riding a wheelie on a motorbike. Yep, that's Glenn Senior. <laughs> No, it just it just takes you to your profile. It, it doesn't log okay. you in. Okay. 
that's fine right jeff christie let's have a look at you then all the other glims is just other impersonators uh turning blind is that jeff christie yeah yeah i'm already subscribed to you I think, yeah, I'm right. subscribed to, I think I'm yeah. subscribed to Jeff already. Let me double check. Yeah, I've watched I'm loads sure of Jeff. I've, got, I've watched loads of Jeff's uh, videos. I'm sure I, I was am. right. It is Blair. Oh, Caitlin's in the house. Good evening, Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. Uh, turning blind. Is that the one I'm yeah, talking that's about? It, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I wasn't, but I am now. That is, I'm sure that's Jeff, is it not? Yeah, Jeff Christie. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. Is that another blind wood turner? I think so. There, there is another There is another blind wood turner out there called Paul as well. I can't remember his surname. He, he was watching he was watching Ed Oliver the other morning on Saturday morning. Oh, God, I can't remember his surname. He Who's wasn't that? watching at all. Um, he wasn't watching at all. He was listening. The guy that you was on about a minute ago, is that Glenn uh, Tomkinson? Yes, that's him. Is that yeah. the one that... Um... He doesn't post woodworking stuff. He posts oh. political rubbish. All oh, right, because he sent me a... a I'll delete it then. Okay. Yeah, delete it. Yeah, it's Good gone. Good move. He's gone. Oh, Paul Smith. Jeff, Jeff is just... Uh, Give me uh, Paul's name. It's Paul Smith. He's another. He's another guy who's blind who does wood turn as well. Gotcha. Ian in the shed has said to you, Richard. He has sent you a friend request, but he doesn't yeah. have any woodwork and stuff in his spook page yet. Yeah, I've just got it. I've um, I've actually. Uh, Accepted his friend's request. Blair saying that uh, he has a, a blind wood turner in his looking wood turner club. Caitlin wants to know how your chickens are, Rich. Uh, <laughs> funny you should say that. I ended up having two more today as well, so we've got ten now. Um. We went over to get some chicken feed, and while we were out, uh, we popped in and bought two more. Um, they're called silkies. So the chickens are going really well. They're really happy. Any eggs, any eggs yet, Rich? Uh, we've got uh, – they don't start laying until 20 weeks. All right, okay. Say again. Cheryl? All right, hang on. So right, I've just I've put uh, lights up. Hang on, I've just got to go. B and Q are selling these LED PIR lights. They're supposed to be sixteen pounds, but they've reduced them to half price for a while. So I've been and bought four, um, and dotted them around the chicken pen and around all the you know where all the planters are. I've I've filled another nine raised planters today with vegetables so um what you build them with vegetables no no a I'll screwdriver put, would have been better no no i'll put nine more raised planters in today and filled them up with uh soil and vegetables <laughs> that i'm gonna i'm gonna get the plasticine in a minute if you don't behave yourself i bet you don't <laughs> <laughs> you're in the background rich no, nobody can see you anyway oh i know the only one that can see me is andy actually he was uh, <coughs> andy likes the plastic yeah. <laughs> god <laughs> anyway <coughs> Oh. 
I need to stand up a bit, I think. Oh, that's better. Oh, that stretch. Did everybody see the crochet hook I did today? Or not? No, I I, yeah. missed it. I've missed it. I'm afraid I'll go back and watch it. So you'll get you'll get quite a few watch minutes out of me. It's going down probably, to that'll probably be the video I'll watch when I go to bed or something. It, it's going to go down to, to Dale's house because it seems the, that that E uh, does a bit of crocheting, so it's heading off down there. Yeah, I've heard she's quite a quite a whiz when it comes to sewing and crocheting and all that kind of stuff. She is. She's good at it. She's. I've seen a uh, 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 a little setup. Well, you have as well, haven't you guys? In the uh, yeah, in the um, the I cinema. Want to try them noodles though? The noodles. In the... Yeah. Well, that's what. I, that's the, as soon as the lockdown is over. Uh, me and Andy are making. Thank you, video, Blair. So I think you should come over for the weekend, and we'll do it together. Well, all of them. I, I, I'll try them. But I yeah. wouldn't want to. <laughs> well, we've got. I've got uh, five packets, so I was thinking if we do half a packet each. Um, me, Andy, you, probably. Well, I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna cope because you don't like heat, do you? No, that's why it's going to be even worse for me. I could just about handle right. it. E Eva is asking, have you something to help me uh, to show how the crochet hook works? Yes, Eva. Yeah. Go to Google and type Buy. in how to crochet. Buy some wool. Yeah. Get a crochet hook, buy some wool, go on Google, and it'll explain everything fully. Just uh, YouTube it. There's a triangle where Andy's drawn. What's that then? Triangle. Oh, that's his maker. That's his. Uh, his uh, what, 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 what? YouTube. <laughs> this is YouTube. Yes, Caitlin, <laughs> the, Caitlin, it is. It's me, it's Rich, and it's JP as well. I wonder if Katie wants no, to. No, Eva, the, I uh... don't understand what you're talking about. What's it, what's that? When I get different hooks then. Huh? So Mr. Ruben is off. He says, I'm done for today, guys and gals. Talk Nate, to you Ruben. Time. Thanks for coming in, Ruben. <laughs> I could have stood here and sanded off a uh, bowl blank while I was out here. Didn't even think of that. Uh, Eva, I've got no idea. I, have, I only know how to make the hooks. I don't know how to use them. Two seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cheat and cut those bits on the bandsaw. Yeah, no Ooh. problem, Andy. Sacrilege. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mark Arnold came into the house. Good evening, Mark. Evening, Mark. Shall I unmute myself? No, it, oh, Mark. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Uh, Either the, they are called crochet hooks. They are for crocheting. Andy, if you can hear me, I was just trying to tell you while I was muted is, have you not got a bit of wood you can put in between those legs? Because you... It is acrylic, and you might snap one of those legs off. That sounded really bad, Rich. That's, that really sounded bad, that did. Did it? 
What? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a bit of wood you can put in between those legs? I mean, that was really bad. <laughs> oh, God, you can't take him anywhere. Uh, Ian in the shed. Hey, you Andy. said it, not me. <laughs> um, yeah, Andy will catch up on the final carving tomorrow. It looks brilliant so far. Uh, see, I can crochet. Cheryl taught me to crochet. Thank you, Stace. Stace it's is easy. going to send Eva a video. Doug says, get out of the gutter, Wayne. I never said it. Rich said it. Yeah, I uh, know, but that was the way it was perceived. Okay. I may be interpreted it wrong. <laughs> See, I learned how to crochet because I needed a bumper for my boat. Um, and I thought there's no way I'm paying for these really expensive bumpers. So I've got an old boy and I um I got a load of rope and I crocheted the rope around the boy and made my own. And it worked. Very good. My my nan years and years ago taught me how to knit and after she died I still I just never never carried it on or anything like that and I've just completely forgotten how to do it now. Isn't it uh, I can knit. I can I can knit. I, I can use a knitting machine very, very well. <laughs> um I, I can't I, I can't I crochet to save me life. It's oh, Heath, knit is really, it, really fast. Is it Heath Knuckles that, that uh, knits his own hats? No, it's his wife that does it. I thought I saw him knitting. No, he doesn't do it. It's his wife. Uh, or maybe he can, but his wife but he's the one that does all of his hats. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Andy Burke, he's a hell of a seamstress. Yeah. He yeah. does all the, oh, he does all his all all the quilts and everything, and he does. Jen says, I used to crochet a lot, but really can't anymore. Carpal tunnel sucks. I know how you feel. Uh, yeah, his wife makes them. Yeah, so Eva, if you could knit, uh, crocheting is a lot easier than knitting. Oh, no, I wouldn't agree with that, that uh, Rich. Jane, well, Jane, can, Jane can knit. Jane's a hell of a, a hand knitter, and she can't crochet to save her life. Oh, right. Maybe I've got the wrong way around then. Hang on a minute. There's some people who knit can't crochet. And people who crochet, some people who crochet can't knit, but I can do both. Yeah, I was asking which one's the hardest in your opinion. It depends because it does depend, Richard. Okay, it all depends. It also depends on um, me with my dyslexia, Richard. I can't read crochet patterns right. with my dyslexia. Obviously with a knitting pattern, because of the way it's actually written out, yeah, it's so it's a lot easier to follow but when you're trying to do that so it just it does depend okay so it, that's it you were guys it, it it depends really on the I person no no it's just it's just so what we're chatting about that's oh. all oh doug says hello cheryl Hi, um Did eva says hello picture? steve says hello uh, Andy says hello. Hello, darling. See, she is still alive, guys. I haven't really got rid of her. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing that. That's the recording, that is. <laughs> Mark says hello. Hello, darling. Oh. We can always find out for sure when I can call her. <laughs> Go on, call her. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so wayne says never saw my dad until i was 15 i'm calling her now
tell you one of the best knitters I have, I have ever seen is a guy called Calf Fassett. If you ever get a chance, uh, I don't know if there's any YouTube videos or anything out uh, with this guy, but that guy was an absolutely amazing knitter. Says call failed, Rich. Seems like you're guilty, mate. <laughs> oh, look, he's gone quiet now as well. Yes, uh -huh. exactly. He's gone to check the grave. Very suspicious. Uh, I, I think Andy may have a picture for reference. He usually does have a picture for reference. Oh, no, he doesn't. Sorry. I am telling lies. Andy Ooh. doesn't have a picture for, from re for reference. Oh, the humanity. No picture for reference? How dare he? Sorry, guys, I'm back. <laughs> uh, I called her and it went, uh, no call. Oh. So, call failed. So, you're guilty. She's got her phone up there. No, but she weren't in the bedroom. She was she was on the stairs. She went onto the uh, second the landing. Patio. No. She's under the patio. She went onto the second landing to try and hear me talking to her. And then hurt herself trying to get back up onto the, the top. So she didn't use her stair lift. She tried to walk down the first landing steps. GP, she's not under the patio. She is in the veg patch. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's uh, Richie's Rich trying to uh, turn, uh, turn into the UK version of the Tiger King. He's only called the Chicken King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the chickies don't like me. <laughs> Make sure none of them get out, Rich, otherwise we'll have a lost turkey saga like um Jimmy the rest of yeah, like Jimmy did, yeah. Yes, Larry, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, right. It's looking good, uh, Andy. Looking very good. Oh, what's this then? That's a lot of scary looking burrs. So Eva said, if you need a leather case for it, Wayne, send me the measurements and I'll make one for you. Thank you, Eva. Wayne, what's the best belt to have on this uh, Pro Edge? I use a 120 for sharpening. Right, okay. Well, just putting, re just putting a final grind on it, yeah? Yeah, if I'm reshaping, if I'm doing a like a, a new bull gouge, like the one I got there last week, if I'm doing a new bull gouge, I'll do the 60 grit for doing the, um, the grind on there, uh, getting it down to the, the profile, if you like. 
and then I'll use the 120 to sharpen. I don't see any need to go above 120. <coughs> the thing is, with, with wood turning tools, if you go above the 120, it gets it really, really sharp, but it loses its edge really quick. This one cut. Should need to wash it. Would Shannon can make it. She knows what I have. So, uh, Nick the Flame Returner. Howdy, everyone. I've missed trying to find space for all my new projects. Uh, I think I need to make a shelf. Larry's got a small collection of 24 Zippos. One for every day That's of nice. the month. I like Always. Zippos. <laughs> yep, yeah, that clicks there. Here we go again. I used to have a zippo when he used to smoke. I just got this one this year. Uh, Jim bought me this one for uh, Valentine's Day in February. <laughs> she knows me so well. <laughs> <laughs> she should. Do you? You've been married for what? Was it fifty years, Wayne? Oh God, how long have we been wed? <laughs> um. <laughs> Don't ask her if she'll say too long. <laughs> oh. 83. 1983 we'll go wed. 37 years. Yeah. Cool. Well, it'll be, it'll, be 30, it'll be 37 years come October. We met it, We met in June of 1982. It, uh, I was, at that time, I was attached to the, uh, with the military police in Munster in Germany. Um, we met on a Friday night at a party. Um, it was the the um wasn't a regiment because it was to, it was the company um big do if you like on the Saturday night. I took her to the the do on the Saturday night, and I moved into her flat on the Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> she had a kitchen. I had a TV. I preferred the kitchen, so I moved in. <laughs> so, have you got all your um, internet sorted in your shop yet? Wow. I have, yes, I have, Rich. Um, I, I put out a cable uh, a couple of few weeks ago. The internet is sorted uh, good and proper now. Uh, when I'm, I'm doing stuff outside tomorrow, um, I will be in the shop on Wednesday. Are you busy on Wednesday? Well, I was going to think. I was going to suggest we do a live invasion tomorrow, if you're up for it. That's a if live you can. invasion tomorrow. Hmm. It hmm. would. Um, it would have to be tomorrow afternoon. Right. I was thinking. Well, it, it's my Tuesday night live tomorrow, hmm. uh -huh. um, and I was thinking we could do it then. But oh, why? That would work. Yeah. Because if, if it if it works. Yeah. Usually, usually I'm watching you all live anyway. Well, what I could do, we could do, is uh, I'll do the very first live invasion uh, using you as the guinea pig. Um, okay. Um, I've got to say, you will. Obviously, you know me, and you know the state of my shop. <laughs> it is not going to be tidy. Of course, it's, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's no there with me. He knows no what one, not tidy is. Goodness no me. one's there to judge. Okay. But well, I'm thinking this will be a totally different kind of invasion. Uh, the first of its kind. But we could also get the, um, the, the people in the chat to get involved. Maybe they might have some questions for you. Um, I mean, you know, the normal questions I ask everyone with the same questions. So when that we sounds, that's, yeah. that sounds grand rich. 
So when we're finished with my questions, um, then we'll open it up to the chat. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm down for that. So what I'll do is I'll do an Instagram post tomorrow morning. Um, and that'll go onto my Facebook. If you want to share that with, with wherever, you know, yeah, we'll try and get a load of people in. Yeah, Doug oh, saying oh. you go, Doug Doug saying you're going to do a live invasion. Yeah, Doug. It seems tomorrow uh, at around about eight o'clock UK time. Yeah, which is going to be around about um, I don't know three o'clock, four o'clock. Over in the states, it's going to be me and Rich live. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. It'll be like I say, it'll be the first of its kind. I think it'd be really cool. I will go back and I will edit it down to a proper invasion um, when we're done. Oh, there we go. Doug is saying, "I am so going to ask inappropriate <laughs> questions." <laughs> Cheers, Doug. You're all hot, sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that now. That's going to be cool. Um, so we've got two invasions this week. Uh, we'll have yours tomorrow, and we'll have uh, Jake Thompson on Thursday at 8 o'clock. Oh, you got Jake coming on, on Thursday. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the His weekend. workshops are hit. His, his workshop's a lot smaller than mine, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's workshop is like working in a, uh, a cathedral. Yes, I. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the week after, next week, we've got um, the one and only Andy Berkey. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, I am not going to miss that one. That was... A really good. I really enjoyed that invasion. Just chatting to Andy uh, off camera, you know, and off, you know, he's just a fascinating guy. He's a fascinating oh, guy. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. We've got quite a few things in common, other than these Americans. <laughs> the, the, the guy's a legend. Mm. I was I was going to be laying some sandstone tomorrow. It looks like I'm going to have to go in the workshop and do something. <laughs> I, well, the thing I've, I've got to do, um, I've, cool. I've got to get part of, the, I've got to get part of this uh, bowl done for for me live on on Wednesday. Because, uh, like I said, I'm doing the, the water drop bowl, which I can't do in the water. Hmm. I think uh, I think we need to do a invasion with you, uh, Caitlin, as well. Yeah, um, that definitely sounds like a plan. If you're for it, So how, how would you want to do this, Rich? Is, is this going to go out on, on StreamYard or, or what? Yeah, yeah. It'll go out on StreamYard and I'll record it as I do with every other invasion that I do remotely or, or over the internet. Um, and then when we're finished and everything, I'll download it from YouTube and edit it all into a, uh, a video. So you'll have the live version still up there, but then you'll have the edited version to go in with the uh, the invasions um, playlist, pre-made legs. Oh, right. <clears throat> oh, Andy's done pre-made legs. Nice. Andy hasn't carved these legs this evening. He has pre-made them, all ready to slot in. Pre-painted. <laughs> and painted as well. Caitlin, right. get in touch with me uh, if you want to do it. Whenever you want to do it, you've got me on uh, Facebook, I think. Right, new legs. Right, the the tour the tour of the shop, um, Rich. 
will probably be done from one standpoint. That's um, fine. Good point. That's all you need to do. Because usually I'd use my proper video camera to, to do the tour, but I'm going to have to stand in one one standpoint so I can actually see the me monitor so I can see where I'm, what I'm actually showing. That's fine. You know what? It's it's Everybody's workshops are different, and this is the beauty of doing these invasions. Everyone sees what you know what you have to work with and how you do it and and everyone's workshop is totally different um it's like i said to kim when i did her if, if the internet's not so great at the back then just stand at the front and point at your tools and point at stuff that you want to talk about you know I tell you how bad my workshop is, Rich. I had people turn up the back at the gate this morning saying, "I heard the tip was open." <laughs> oh, great! I've got a trailer on the front drive. Can I bring it over? <laughs> <laughs> Just tell them it's a tip that only accepts wood. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, Jamie. Larry, send me the link to that guy, will you? And I'll get in touch. Unless you want to send him a message, um, he can always get in touch with me. Oh, Tim Yoda. Oh, I, I tell you, Tim, Tim Yoda um, invasion would be fucking magic. Oh, sorry, I swore there. <laughs> didn't mean to. Sorry, Rich. Uh, sorry, Andy. Didn't mean to swear. Wow. Okay, Naughty. we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Sorry about that. You naughty boy. Yes, Technically, know, you didn't hear anything. <clears throat> well, thanks, right. Wayne. Thanks for watching the invasion. So glad you enjoyed them. Oh, no. huh? Oat milk. I don't know. Oat. Oh, cheers. Is that all right? Yeah. Decaf tea, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Would be Yeah. What are you doing? Moving. Uh, you're not doing that tonight. No. Not making Uh, Wayne's asking Larry, wasn't he a TV presenter at one time? This is about Tim Yoda. Yes, he was, Wayne. Is it Wood Turning with Tim One? Is that him? Yes. Tim Yoda is... Okay. He's a bald headed guy. Yeah. I'll get in touch with him and see what uh, he's up for it. I still need to do Carl Jacobson. Uh, at some point. Why will he do? I'm no. not sure. <laughs> it's just <laughs> I've just heard his name about I you know. I thought he was no, I, I heard he was a calendar guy. <laughs> <laughs> the model. Hair model. Yeah. The sleep model. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, okay. So, yeah, uh, Wayne says um, he was on public TV here in the States. So he probably wouldn't want to do an invasion, would he? Well, I, don't, I don't know. He's, uh, he's quite a laid-back kind of guy. Mm. I have uh, asked Nick Zometti, but not had anything come back from him yet. Need to poke. JP. Poku. Uh, Mr. Zametti. 
Mrs. Zametti. Mr. Zametti needs a little poke. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> I'll send him a picture of the plasticine. All right. That'll work. I can see him yeah, being up for it after that. <laughs> That'll be quite funky. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Larry. If you can forward them to me, I'll uh, I'll give them a, a shout. Right, it's just trying to get the right angle. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Eva says, you need to poke Mr. Zametti. Um, Doug says, why are we poking Nick? <clears throat> you need to poke him because I've asked him if he wants to be in an invasion and he's not replied to me yet. Oh my God, where's the last two hours gone? <coughs> Excuse me. It's gone quick, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so... Anyway, you get the idea. Mm. Uh, oh no, I'm so close to having him done. So close. Oh, that's... Yeah, I've got to do it. I've got to finish it while you're on, guys. Of course. Nick, Nick, Caitlin. Good night, Caitlin. Good night, Caitlin. These tattoo needles really don't like bending. Oh, that's why you were saying about them last night. Ah, I get it now. I get it. The tattoo rods. Yeah. Ah. See, for those of you that don't know what Rich and I are talking about, the legs that I'm using are former tattoo needles, unused. Um. Both Richard and I have dabbled in uh, the dark art of tattooing. <laughs> the taboo. Yeah. Ah, so the hollower that Kim Tipping uses, he sells. Okay, I'd love a, a uh, hollower. I'm going to get one one day. Sam and Hope does a very good one, Rich. <clears throat> I, I, I don't really uh... didn't, didn't, didn't you know to bring out a centre finder as well no sorry I can't remember I can't remember no um, Eva they're not the actual needles those are the rods that the needles are soldered onto the end of so yeah. that rod goes right through the um from the needles whether they're what they're soldered on to the bottom and then it goes up through the tube and the grip and all that and then connects to the um the electromagnet at the top just like that hmm. right L larry saying rich don't hold your breath i uh, i asked this nick zametti about the sticker two years ago and i've still not heard back <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's in Canada. Oh. Uh, Mark Arnold might need either of your help after lockdown on the subject of... Oh, of, of tats. Okay. Well, Was that Mark? Um, oh, Marky. Yes, Mark from Scouts. No way. Cool, man. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. So, Wayne, um, uh, this, this is, is Tim the Yoda. Most creepy thing ever. Oh, okay. I think that's cool. Right. Ba, 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 ba. Wicked. Oh, my yeah, days. Yeah. That's brilliant. Nice. Right. Haven't they got six legs? No. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> just playing no. with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've got no, 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 no. Don't say things like that. No, they haven't. They've uh, they have actually. What about, what about the tentacles? Four legs and the two bits. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> face. Can um, we see it uh, on its side? Because we can only see a top view of it. Yeah. I, uh, I, yeah. Bear with me. Let me. Right. I got this stuff today. Industrial oh. grade. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that stuff goes super hard, super quick. So let me flip him over. That's what she said. And let me go. Take all of that. Have you got the activator with it as well? Don't, don't need it. It's not. Oh. So Steve Coombe, I'd I'm pretty sure I'd love to let either you, Andy, or Rich give me some new ink. It's mad because I when I was, I was tattooing with Richard. <laughs> I was tattooing. Uh I had a couple of years break, but before the reason I had the couple of years break is because I was always at least two months booked up in advance. Um always I was I was never without jobs booked. Um, so I thought I'm gonna have a break. Oh, oh but, Barry's yeah. asking if I Barry's asking if I got my um, carcass of deer. Yes, Barry, I did. It is, is that, now in the right. the workshop. It will get hung tomorrow for about three or four days, and then I will skin it and butcher it. Oh. Looks a very compromising position that does handy if I must say. It's creepy as heck, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> See that that's gone. That's quick, isn't it? Well, that stuff's amazing. Wicked. I'll put a link to that in the uh in the chat. In the yeah. description, do for what's it right? Okay, JP wants right. Okay, you. I want what? He wants a slow. Want... <laughs> <laughs> are we abusing? <laughs> Why are we abusing JP now? Oh, the tentacles. Oh, I was going to say, oh, I want to get in on it, man. The one I'm missing. Yeah, you've only got you've only got one minute ten seconds, Andy. So come on. Have I? Right, let's go. Go over time, Andy. D don't care what GP says. Go over time. If you were stream I might kick him off. That's the problem. <laughs> no, they said they would <laughs> kick me off. So well, right. okay. If I'm on a broadcast, they won't. Uh... Oh. Oh no, hold still. He was being naughty. Yes, I saw that, Rich. <laughs> she said something too grown up. Naughty, oh. Eva. Right, hold on. I don't think that's actually going to be long enough. No, that's going good. back to what Barry said about uh, asking if I got the the, the carcass. <laughs> Usually, with with Alan, my vet, I pay around about forty pounds for a carcass. Uh, once Still it's butchered, student, it? Jesus. Once, once it's butchered and everything, you're looking at about two hundred quid's worth of meat. Right. This is this is what I meant by a tattoo needle. This is a tattoo needle. You've got the ink, the bit that dips in your ink there, and as Rich said, that bit's soldered on there. I don't know if whoop, you can just looks like a shader. Uh, no, that's a liner actually. It's a fine liner. 
Uh, mm. No, it's a six six pin fine liner. Not that okay. fine. <laughs> Eva, shame on you. Loki, Loki, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, well, I've got quite a few bits of wood here, Wayne. I just I keep thinking about what I want to do with it, but I just don't know what to do. Ooh. Nearly face planted. Oh yes, I've seen this team. This team. Yeah, the before the um, the Sputnik Sea Urchin shell. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh, right. Uh, see, I'm only glad I told you. <clears throat> yeah. That's that is that is really. Right, cool. Let me put you. Let me flick you on the camera. And uh... you'll have to do one with his wings open as well. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah. Hello. There you go. Oh, put your, head, put your head to the right a little bit, Andy. There's Andy's new um, logo at the back there, guys. Awesome. Sorry. So there we go. That's really cool. That is really cool. Yeah, it's cool. So, I yeah, think that love that, that will sell really quick. That will. That's that's yeah. That's probably the yeah. That's my favourite one you've done. Uh, that's my my favourite one that I've done as well. Now, I, I'm, only, I'm only glad I suggested it to you now. Oh, mate, thank you, thank you, JP, yeah. for suggesting that. Right, yeah. let's bring you guys back. <laughs> cool. Let me bring you. Mm -hmm. Are you guys cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I'm sitting Rich, down. Uh, past the scene away. <laughs> Wicked. Well, that's made my evening. That has. That was brilliant. Um, thank you guys for uh, sitting in the chat and uh, watching me carve this little monkey. Um, yeah, excellent. I hope you guys in the chat have enjoyed it. Um, What's that you got? Great, What's JP got on his neck? It's a boil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the uh, bell thing. That... Oh, no! Nice. Looks, like looks like a slug that you've jumped stamped on. So um, <laughs> tomorrow lunchtime live is me again. So tune in tomorrow and uh, then tomorrow evening, Richard, and then we will inform you of what's going on then. Don't forget. A Richard, a very, a Richard a special tomorrow night. It's a very special, very first of its kind. Cool. So, I hope you enjoy yeah. tonight. I hope what, you have a good evening. What are you doing tomorrow, Andy? Lunchtime. I haven't got Scooby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. We'll be there. We'll be there. Um... We'll see what oh, happens tomorrow. And go and sec. Robert Lapsley says, where do you sell your stuff, Andy? Uh, I will be uploading on to my Etsy. If you check out AH Bespoke in Etsy. Thank you, by the way, James. Um, yeah, I'm on Etsy. AH Bespoke. Check it out. Uh, there's a couple on there at the moment. Um, I yes, Eva. I do have long hair. And if there's anything that you've seen before that you, if you want me to carve again and it isn't for sale, just send me a PM and I can always either make it again or 
um, we can have a chat and see what else you might like. Um, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wayne Bigfoot just says those earworms look like more like ear infections. Thanks for that, Wayne. <laughs> Cheers, Wayne. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks so much, guys. You take it easy. Sleep well. See you at lunchtime tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. No, no, no. Bonjour. Speak to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> And bye.